Hi guys, it's Father's Daughter. Welcome back. I have a um, message for you today. <laughs> Let's hope that my phone will get through it, okay? Alright, Genesis 1.27 says, God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Genesis 2, 7, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Genesis 2, 18, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all the cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found an help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Okay, my dog's going to whine here. She's a super cute girl. Yeah. Yep. She can't help herself. Sorry. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Flesh, And she be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall be one flesh. All right. So that's pretty basic, right? God made, um, you know, Eve for Adam for the companionship. Okay. Um. So let's go on. Leviticus 20.13 If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. I'm sorry. She's just going to whine. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man take a wife and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire, both. Okay. Um, it is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down thereto, Thou shalt surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right, 1 Corinthians 6, 9, okay? Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, but not be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Remember how I'm always talking about the Holy Spirit? Talks about it a lot in the Bible. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things um, are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Meats for the belly and belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. And God hate both. God hath both raised up the Lord and will also raise up us by his own power. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? 
or say it like this. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Question mark. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlow? God forbid. What? Question mark. Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlow is one body? For two saith he shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. What? Question mark. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God. And ye are not your own. She's having a bad day, you guys. It's always like this. For ye are brought with a price. Ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. All right. First Corinthians seven two and three. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. Alright, now I'm going to read to you Romans um, 1, 21 through 32, okay? Romans 1, 21 through 32. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Okay, sorry about that. My cute dog, she was needing some attention there. All right, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of God the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful who, knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy to death, or worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So, if you can't get from what I'm trying to um, read to you, it's not okay to sleep with um, someone that's not your wife or husband or the same sex or an animal it's not okay God clearly shows it in his word he is telling you please don't do it I try to read you scripture because it's the Bible it's the B-I-B-L-E and that's the book for me and I stand upon the word of God and that's what we all need to stand upon it is warning us. It is telling us what is going to happen if we do these things. 
um, if you are not saved, I'm going to beg you to get saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus. He died for you. He died for your sins. As soon as you believe in him, you will be um, having the Holy Spirit in your body and it will help you. You're not going to do everything right, right away, but you're going to, you're going to know, you know, things are going to, um, work in you. It's going to start working in you. Okay. All right. So I ran across this today and thought it was pretty good too. Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, um, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Jesus loves you. He's returning so very soon. There's a lot of things going on. Um, we just need to believe in him. We need to draw closer to him every day, no matter how weird our life is or what's going on. Because no one's promised tomorrow, okay? Nobody's promised tomorrow. And I told you all this stuff from Genesis to show you that God made uh, men and women to be together. Even the body parts fit. Okay, come on, let's be real. <laughs> Not to get too graphic, but um, he loves you. He made you like that for a purpose and a reason. Okay, I'm going to leave it here, and I'm I'm just going to pray for you. If you need um, prayer in this area of your life, please comment below, um, and we will pray for you, okay? And we will all pray for one another, okay? I love you guys. I really do love you guys, and I pray for you guys. Um, and I'm going to ask you to pray for me too, because life is a struggle and, and it is what it is, but we can't go against God's word. Okay. And yes, his mercies are new every morning. Okay. They are new every morning and life is a struggle. So anyway, I love you guys. Have a great day. Okay. Bye.